another breast biopsy here. You can see a large duct, and inside of it is an epithelial proliferative lesion. Perhaps you can see a couple of small cysts in the wall or at the periphery of the duct. Perhaps you could see some fat tissue out here. And I bet you if we go along here, you may even see some uh, normal uh, breast tissue. Uh, perhaps some ducts at least. I don't really see any classical asini. Notice that this big proliferated lesion within the ducts has a papillary configuration in that the epithelium seems to be lining these fingers of connective tissue. Also notice that they are stopped dead by the wall of the uh, large duct that they're in, and they do not infiltrate into or beyond the wall. This is a classical breast papilloma. Breast papillomas <clears throat> are a benign proliferation of uh, ductal epithelium in which the proliferation is such that not only the epithelium proliferates, but the little uh, core of fibrous tissue does as well. Breast papillomas are always extremely scary lesions for pathologists because cytologically, these cells can look very, very nasty and malignant. Uh, so that's why uh, Dr. Hagenson in his uh, Bible of breast pathology always uh, stresses that one should never, ever, ever diagnose a papillary carcinoma on frozen section because I know too many pathologists personally who did and they wound up being wrong and some of them had to pay for it dearly because that means the woman is going to be losing her breast unnecessarily. This is a benign papilloma of the breast. Even though the nuclei here look fairly uniform, uh, they don't look terribly uh, large or bizarre or necrotic in any way, uh, you can see a tremendous amount of atypia in here, uh, and it still is benign, uh, especially if you are in a sub location. Uh, you would swear the epithelium is malignant looking, but it would stay uh, nice and confined as a, a papilloma should do because if a papilloma doesn't stay confined and it invades through the duct that it's in, it can then officially inherit the name papillary carcinoma. Also notice there is no necrosis within this papilloma either. Thank you very much.